nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the Two Gun Fixit presents Legendary Gaming. Welcome back to another Tabletop Takeout, everyone. Thank you so much for deciding to spend a little bit of your time right here at Two Gun Pixie with me. <laughs> so, now the game I want to talk to you about today, this, um, this really took me by surprise because I had no idea that this was a possibility. You see, uh, I uh, decided to look into Alexa to help me with gaming stuck doing so many solo things. And I found that there's actually a fairly rich world of Alexa-enabled skills that are great games. One of them, one of them actually did take me on a great adventure. And I had so much fun, I knew I wanted to tell you all about it. And why I think you may like the Alexa skill, the game, Dungeon Adventure. Let's go down the table and we'll talk about it. Now, Dungeon Adventure was the, the second Alexa skill game that I tried playing. It was the first RPG game that I encountered with Alexa. And I was highly interested at first, and after the second game, I mean, I was interested enough to play a second game, but after that second game, I was hooked. Let me tell you why I enjoyed Dungeon Adventure. Now, first of all, Obviously, because of the fantasy RPG feel, that Dungeons and Dragons-esque feel that it has to it, that grabbed me by the throat right away. Being able to play Dungeons and Dragons by myself, I, I don't, I, I'm going to keep calling it Dungeons and Dragons because any good fantasy game, that's what I refer to it as, so take it as a compliment, please. But Dungeon Adventure did have enough of that Dungeons and Dragons feel to it that it very easily sucked me into the game. And like I said, after that second game, wow, I was just hooked. Now part of this is, by the second game I started understanding the commands a little bit better. I also started understanding what I needed as a character to continue surviving and get through my side quests and ultimately the main goal of stopping the Necromancer. And, and that was really just going back to town constantly like Diablo like like the game Diablo you know you look to see what you can get get the best that you can get right now check to see what the lowest level of gold and or experience or, or whatever else you need to collect is for the next highest thing you need armor weapons spells talent skills whatever it is you can purchase and then don't go back to town, hopefully, until you raise enough money, at least, to get that. And then go back to town right away at that point, get that shit, and come back and continue your adventure. Yeah, this game really did feel... Feel like Diablo. In a sense, more than Dungeons & Dragons, now that I think about it. But then again, Diablo is a very fun game as well. Being able to... Uh, give little personal uh, personalizations right, uh, to me, such as naming my character. <sighs> Although Alexa does not understand the word gel and kept insisting on calling me something else. Girl was the longest lasting name it insisted that I was saying. But that ended up at least being fun for the camera. So, all's good. But yes, uh, you learn to talk to Alexa, you, you, not just with the commands, but what she can understand as well. I also thought it was a nice touch that when I did cast the summon monster and that wolf came, which became my companion, that I was even able to tell Alexa what to call it. 
So it wasn't always referring it to it as, as as wolf or companion or whatever the hell it was it was referring to it as. That was a nice little touch that 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 the player, me, in this case, was able to do that. I also really enjoyed the the well-balanced mix between classic XP level uh, leveling up uh, style of gaming, along with the skill advancement style. That was a, that was a very good system, uh, being able to do that, going up, getting your, your base uh, bonuses for leveling up to begin with, right? But then on top of that, being able to choose skills that you are going to, that you're going to sort of specialize in, that you want to increase and make better. So that was a really, really fun mix and a great way to further personalize the character. Now, although I, I, I didn't die for quite a while in the game, it's not that I didn't have that sensation, that fear, that dread of possibility. It definitely didn't leave me with a taste that I, I could very well die here in the dungeon. Especially the further in you get. When you start running out of your potions of healing and potions of strength, intelligence, dexterity, your 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 spells. When that all starts running out and you realize you got to get back to town and you are knee deep in the second level or further into the dungeon and you don't have a portal yet. <laughs> Trust me, I may not have died for a long time in that game, but I definitely felt the Grim Reaper breathing on the back of the character's neck several times. And that's exciting for a game. One thing I would like to point out to anyone that's going to be playing this game, or a similar game like this, is uh, one very simple tip. Map. Map, 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 map. Now, even if you're not using graph paper, let's say, or, or hex paper, and you're you know, mapping like that, at least make notes. I found that highly valuable playing the game is just making notes of the directions that I go in, in the order that I go in that direction. And if it's a dead end, uh, make a note. If it says that there is, uh, uh, if I'd already been there and I and I killed a skeleton, and it says there's a dead skeleton. Dead, er, dead, re, re, re dead, re, re dead, er, ish, skeleton. Then I make a note of that. Oh, there's an altar. There's a fountain in this room. I make a note of that. North. Passage. Dead skeleton. Chest. Because when you're backtracking, you're going to get lost if you don't do something like that. So, so map. Find a way to map or note uh, which way you're going. And that's going to help you a lot. But if you're looking for a Dungeons and Dragon style, Diablo style game that you can you can play alone, and you have an Alexa. Yeah, yes, yes, you are gonna want to try Dungeon Adventure.